I think moving forward, it's a big week for N10s. It's a big week for regionally where we are. So we need to go out and, and definitely be prepared, which is what we plan on doing. And, and again, like we talked about earlier, being able to execute in the first five, 10 minutes that uh, it tips our way, I think will be a big uh, you know, focus for us as we go into whoever we're seeing on Tuesday. All year we've been saying we've been getting everybody's best every single game. And even when we uh, weren't ranked number one anymore and we dropped to five and six and whatever it may be, we were still getting every team's best. So I don't think that would be any different this week I think that we remain a team that teams want to beat and hopefully we are you know we're usually pretty good at being the underdog so whoever we're going to be seeing on Tuesday we are the underdog and I think if, as long as we bring the Stonehill field hockey we know how to play we'll be in a really good position. There's so many things that you can look at I think keeping it simple um, and, and working together but I think overall you know if, if you notice the last like few big games that we've had we've you know I it hasn't felt like a 3-1 game because the game is so back and forth and we just haven't been able to organize enough defensively as a whole. So that's been something that we've been watching film on, talking about at practice, drilling it. So the organizational piece in terms of when we don't have the ball is something that's going to either make or break us next week. You know, and that was something, you know, we were talking about earlier with the girls, whoever we were going to see, we want to see them so that we can have this amazing story for any tens and uh, we know that we can be any team that we've seen. So, you know, and most of them that we've played and lost, we've outshot them and we've done some amazing things so I'm I'm highly optimistic I I never I never lost faith in this group even when we have some big losses and the LIU loss here or the amazing Merrimack game we had we played a brilliant game of field hockey so within those moments I think as long as we learn from it and continue to move forward I don't think it's over until it's over with this group I think that they're going to be able to put together something really special next week